This is question 6 from the 2014 Key Stage 2 SATS Paper A. Read the information carefully. It says, Each of these diagrams is divided into equal parts. Some of the parts are shaded, and you can see that in the diagram. The first thing that you're asked to do, write the letters of all the diagrams that have exactly half shaded. So in diagram A, this square has been divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. Half of eight is four, so if exactly half was shaded, then four pieces would be shaded, and only three are. So A does not have exactly half shaded. B has been divided into nine pieces. Half of nine is not a whole number, so there would not be a whole number of squares shaded. So B does not have exactly half shaded with those three out of nine. C has been divided into one, two, three, four, five, six equal pieces. Three of them have been shaded. Three is half of six, so C does have exactly half shaded. D has been divided into one, two, three, four, five pieces. That's an odd number, so it can't have a whole number of pieces shaded. Certainly not, three is not half of five. So D does not have exactly half shaded. E has been divided into one, two, three, four, and two of those four have been shaded. So E does have exactly half shaded. The next part of the question asks, which of the diagrams has exactly one third shaded? Exactly one third. Here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three eighths in diagram A have been shaded. If you multiply three by three, you do not get eight. So remember the fraction one third, the number on the top of the fraction must be multiplied by three to get the number on the bottom of the fraction, the numerator and the denominator. The relationship is that they are, the denominator is three times larger than the numerator. So to work out a third, can you multiply the top number by three and get the bottom number? For A, no. B, we've got three shaded out of nine. Can you multiply three by three and get nine, yes you can. So that is exactly one third. So I'm gonna write B in this answer box. We're only looking for one answer here, but let's just check that we've got the right answer. Here we've got three out of six shaded. Three multiplied by three does not give you six, so that's not a third. D was three out of five have been shaded. Three multiplied by three does not give you five. And two out of a possible four, two multiplied by three does not give you four. So we've got our answer there. B is the one that has exactly one third shaded.